is Jolie. Welcome back to my channel, and this is my first English video. Yesterday I lost the battle, trying at all costs so to keep you, baby. Since I've started making my English challenge videos, the question I get most often from you guys is how do I improve my oral English? Well, since it's a really broad topic, I'm gonna give you three tips that are useful to me. I said goodbye with tears inside Calling out your name as you shut the door behind you And now I wonder why won't you for starters, you have to put yourself in a language environment or let's say a zone where everyone around is interested in language learning. If you have the chance to go abroad and experience different cultures, that's great too. Culture and language are closely linked. I know due to the coronavirus, go abroad might seem hard to achieve right now, but you still can find other ways to get to know foreigners better. You can watch some English news, English movies or read some English books. All I feel is sad that I lost you, baby. Oh, I lost you, baby. I said goodbye with tears inside. Start to learn English from watching English TV shows and try to repeat what you hear. This is a very efficient way for me to improve my pronunciation, my language sense. And don't forget, the shows you choose should be a little more difficult than your current level. The shows I've been watching for a long time are Friends. Joey has got a secret peephole. Desperate Housewives. Wait, wait, you're gonna have to explain. Rex, he's dead. What could he have done to upset you? This is us. Baby, I don't know if I can keep doing this without you anymore. Modern family. <laughs> They're quite relatable, understandable, and the words they use are more useful. The last and most important thing is to open your mouth and talk to native speakers. Then you can learn through practice by imitating their pronunciation, their tone, and their flow. If you have the chance, you can make friends with them or you can have an English teacher. Like me, I always take online classes because I think it's very convenient and I can learn English everywhere. The app I normally use called Cambly. There are so many English teachers on it and you can also check their backgrounds, interests, and teach experience before you decide to have a class with them let me show you how I use it so can't believe see here are so many teachers that you can choose uh, my favorite teacher her name is Madison but she's not available now so let's check out some more teachers I'm in a coffee shop. Hello, hi. Hello, how yes, are you? I'm in a coffee shop. Good. Oh, lovely, lovely. And you? Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, nice I'm, I'm at you. home. Very nice. Where, where are you calling from? I'm from Shanghai, and my name is oh. Jolie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And and why would you like to learn English? Uh, because I want to practice my oral English with native speakers. I oh, do I need to follow my passion? Because it's obviously not a way that I can get money, I can support my life. Mm, but mm. on the other hand, actually when I'm following my strengths, when I, I like to be a manager, but, but sometimes it really makes me feel like stressful and I, I was under a lot of pressure. So I was wondering that what can I do like for my life? Right. It wasn't, it wasn't a speech for you. It's just something that I want to figure out recently. <laughs> Jolie, give me the speeches, girl. I love it. Bring it on. Don't apologize for your speeches. Come on. No stress. No, no, it's good. Uh, this is what we're here to do. Have real conversation, right? Not just the, yeah. how are you? No, are no you? we're having, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is, this yeah. is good. No, I, I, you know, Jolie, I love meeting someone like you and, and having talks like this. It's so important. Um, and, and it's so incredible that, that we have the technology to do this. Like right now you're sitting like 15,000, 16,000 kilometers away from me. And here we are exchanging ideas on life and, and our, and how our experiences have shaped us. I mean, it's super cool. I just wanted to give you a small correction. Um, okay. You, you said that um, being a manager was, was making you feel stressful. You cannot be made to feel stressful. Okay, so you can, you can find, you can say, I found being a manager stressful and it made me feel stressed out. 
Okay, so it made okay. me feel stressed out. Okay, but it, it cannot make you feel stressful. Stressed out. I'm feeling that my English is getting worse. So I really want to try to uh, change it. Mm. Why do you uh -huh. feel your English is getting worse? I don't know. Maybe, maybe when I'm talking to foreigners, I'm not that confident like before. Sometimes I get shy when I speak English to them. I really want to change this situation. How do you like my teachers? They're nice, right? Do you want to practice your English like me? I have a code for you. Use J520 on Cambly and then you can have 15 minute trial chat with a native English teacher for free. Okay, this is pretty much my video today. If you think the tips that I shared are useful, please like and share. And as always, you're welcome to leave comments below. My English journey continues. Are you guys on board with me? See you guys next time. Bye, love you. Choo.